I'm like a batch of cheating over here. Long fam, it is Beth, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have my husband Johnny here again for another video. Hi, and we are going to be unboxing some little goodies from Japan for you guys today. So, a few of our good friends moved to Japan about half a year ago, and they came back for Christmas, totally surprising everyone. And they brought us a lot of little goodies. And Johnny's parents actually came to visit us this week as well from Hong Kong. They had stopped over in Tokyo as well, so we now have a bunch of different Disney goodies from Japan to share with you guys today. So first we are going to start with some of the things that our friends brought back for us. And these are just kind of things that they have collected both from Tokyo Disney Resort and the Japan Disney Store. They do not live close to the resort, so they've only, I think, been there once since they've moved. Don't ask me. I don't know the answer. <laughs> but if you ever need anything from the Disney store, definitely let me know. Happy to put you in touch with them because they do pick up items if you need anything. And the first thing in here is... An alien cell phone charm. That's Ooh. cute. Ooh. So as you can hear, it has a little bell. Our cats are interested. You want it, Meepo? No, he doesn't. <laughs> well, he made a noise when it first jingled, but this is really cute. It's a little alien bell, and then it has some stars up on the charm. Definitely adorable. Obviously, our cell phones in the US, like if you have iPhones, they typically don't have a slot for cell phone charms unless like your case does. But we use these on like bags or like zipper poles or even just like keys. hanging them. Keys, yeah. Or even just like putting them up on bulletin boards. So we still actually really like getting cell phone charms because they're just, they're so cute. It's just fun to play with too. If you keep doing that, Meeple might be interested. <laughs> He's looking. Okay. It's not for you. <laughs> Sorry, we're baiting our cats. So the next thing in the bag is actually this really cute two pin set. This was from Tokyo Disneyland and it's Minnie and Mickey and they look like ghosts as cookies. I think this is just super adorable. I am not typically that into Halloween stuff unless it's like cutesy Halloween and I love that this year they did all of the like dessert theming. So I think these are amazing. So here you can see Mickey and Minnie looking awfully sweet because they are cookies. They are just so stinking adorable. And this packaging too, like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a little house. I think it's supposed to be a house, right? There's like, like bricks and like, house, like a gingerbread house. Yeah, it is just adorable. Like, Japan is so good with details. It even has the little 35th here because they were celebrating their 35th anniversary. What else do we have? <laughs> I'm just gonna show you how cute is this. Adorable. So because it is New Year's season, I did ask our friends to pick us up some little New Year decorations just because I love Japanese New Year. Do you know what that is? It's a bamboo. Yes, so it is bamboo. This is called a Kodama, and it's basically three different shoots of bamboo. They kind of bind it together, and usually you would have a pair of these in like a gate or an entryway, and it's basically like helping to guide your ancestors back to your place. And when we saw that they came out with the little alien, like, I mean, Johnny already showed you the close up, but he is so. Freaking cute. I am excited to put out a couple of New Year decorations here because I will be filming my pin board video next. So really excited for that. So I'm really glad that we were able to get this little guy. Ooh. <laughs> uh, this one's heavy. So to go along with our little Kodama, we also have the alien Daruma. 
So Dharmas are another Japanese New Year tradition. They are for good luck and wishes and oh my gosh. Look at him. Let's take him out of the packaging actually because he's like sideways. No, I don't want to. It's so new. Do you need scissors? No. For the tape. No. Just slice him. Slice him over. No. <laughs> All right, this hefty little alien here. And he is, he's like a lot heavier than I thought he would be. I thought this wasn't really gonna weigh anything at all. <laughs> it's like a paperweight. It says 2019, happy new year everyone. So that would be Johnny's Dharma. And then for me, they got me this little cute pink Minnie Mouse and she's like winking and oh my gosh, let me take her out as well. Cause she is just, the cutest little thing ever. Oh my gosh, and she's like a really good weight as well. But look at her, it says 2019 up on her ear. Her little paint job is a heart. I just think she is so stinking adorable. I am so excited to put her on my desk. Oh my gosh, you're cute. <laughs> Let me see this one again. Yeah, I... Oh, I really like both of these. Yeah, they're heavy. Like, are they wood? No. Don't Plastic? So. Don't know what these are made out of, but oh my gosh, they are just so what? cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. So cute. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna just keep staring at these. I'm gonna put you right here. And then, to go with that Minnie Mouse, I'm not gonna open this because I will lose it, but they also made these like teeny, 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 tiny Dharma as well. Like, I don't know what I would do with her. Like, I feel like I wanna put her like in my wallet or a coin purse or somewhere that I can keep on me for like good luck. But like, look at how tiny that is. Like compared to my nail, she, <laughs> is so small like i i really it's like those mini pins it's like so it's like small. smaller than a mini pin i'll like take it out for a second but really i don't know what you would do with this our friends didn't know what you would do with it either because it's like but i don't want to lose it like you can barely see her <laughs> she's so small so i really do like I don't want to leave her out because you know our cats are just gonna like eat it either try to eat it and choke on it or play with it and lose her and I don't want to just like keep her in her packaging but maybe I will just like stick her she would fit nicely like in my wallet or coin purse or somewhere that I can just kind of keep her with me and it's just adorable I don't even know <laughs> so tiny oh my gosh I don't I don't know what to do but she's so cute. And she's like a perfect, like smaller version of the bigger one. But like the paint job and everything, like the heart on her, it is just so cute. And then we've got two more little items. This one is just some cookies that I love. These are Country Ma'am cookies. If you've never had these, these are like the best chocolate chip kind of hard cookies. They're kind of like- um, Famous Amos. Famous A- <laughs> Did you say Amos? No, I said Amos. Famous Amos. <laughs> Definitely. thought you said something else. Yeah, you can watch back the video. Okay. I don't know. I think those are like a Midwest No, but thing. I think they're countrywide. Oh. Well, I don't know if you've heard of Famous Amos or not, but they're kind of similar to those, except way better. And these are actually hojicha, which is like a type of dark, Roast like tea. roasted tea flavor and I am really excited to uh, see what these taste like because I love hojicha and just like tea flavored things. So we'll try these later. And then the last item they brought for us, <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> it's an Omamori alien. <laughs> So I'll talk about this a little more in my pinboard video, but you get omamori typically from like shrines and they actually have like a prayer sheet inside of them and they're usually blessed and they are for different kind of 
luck purposes so you can get them for like safe travels or happy marriages, good luck, like good studies and exams, stuff like that. So this one of course is just from the Disney store, but it is of the little green man. <laughs> So the back of this gives you like the description and all the warning stuff, but it says it's a happy charm. I guess it's because there's no religious meaning in this alien charm per yeah, se. I'm gonna guess that this one is not like blessed or, blessed or anything. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely more of a more of a like heavier religious, spiritual kind of significance. So I think this one is just for fun and happiness and good luck. Um, but yeah, super cute. Again, just looks like the alien and the little charm on it is of course the Luxo ball. And it's just got a loop up here. Normally, again, you would just attach these kind of like a cell phone charm. People attach them to bags, put them in their wallets, like, all sorts of little things, so I think this is really fun. I don't think we had seen that there was an alien Omamori, so really excited to have him as well. He will be going up on my bulletin board back there. So that is everything from our friends Jack and Emily. Thank you guys if you're watching this so much for bringing us all of these little fun goodies and thank you for bringing us yourselves. Like it was such a surprise to get to see you guys. We did not expect that at all. <laughs> Yeah, and I know your families were just as thrilled. Their families were surprised as well. They just kind of showed up, they filmed it. It was super cute. So we were all really glad to get to see you for Christmas and hopefully we'll be seeing you in Japan pretty soon. But again, yes, if you guys want any pickups from like Japan Disney Store, happy to put you in touch with our friends. Even like not the Disney Store, they also are by like the Pokemon Center and some other stuff. So if you need anything from Japan, let me know and I can put you guys in touch. So then when Johnny's parents came to visit us, they brought us some... Tokyo Banana! So if you don't know Tokyo Banana, <laughs> yes, they, they look like this. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, they're basically like a Twinkie that's good. Very good. I hate Twinkies personally. I think they're disgusting. He, I, I like them. He still likes Twinkies, but these are basically little cakes, but they have fresh cream inside, so they do go bad within like 10 days. You do have to like eat them pretty quickly. But then they also have like little chunks of actual bananas in them as well, and it is just so delicious. This is actually a new flavor that we've never tried. It is coffee milk. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this still has the bananas in it, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm it does. Banana puree. Dang. <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I don't know what coffee and banana would taste like. Um, we're probably gonna try these later. It is, we've just kind of woken up for the day, so I'm not sure that that's how I want to start my day. But we are really excited to try these out in a little bit. And then these last items that we got from Japan are these little Kokeshi doll, like cell phone charm blind boxes. So yeah, we love a good blind box and I am, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I got excited. Like I said, our cats are here to investigate all of the Japanese stuff. Hey. No, 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 no. Or they just want the Tokyo banana bag. But we love blind boxes, so I am so excited. We have eight of these. Let me show you the possible characters that we can get. There are eight possible characters in total, which is why we have eight boxes to open for you. We'll see how uh, good we do in terms of doubles or no doubles. I hope for no doubles, but that's gonna be like impossible, right? Probably, I wouldn't mind doubles of a few of them. Um, let me show you the characters and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's all you need to know. <laughs> so of course, as Johnny was just showing you, we have Stitch, Lotso, the little green alien, which of course we are hoping for. Doubles of him are certainly welcome. Or even triples. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot of aliens. I don't know about that. Uh, we've got little Pooh, and then on this side, we have Pluto, 
Chip and Dale, and of course, my favorite here, Marie. So I would also definitely not mind having a couple doubles of Marie. So this is what the front of the box looks like, and like I said, we have eight of these. So we are both going to open four of them and try to guess what they are. So I think we're gonna take four each and make a little game out of it and we will see if we can accurately guess what they are without looking at them and see who can get more points for being correct. I'm assuming they're in like a black bag, but we will find out. Grab four of them for you and I will take the remaining four. That for yeah all right guys i'm ready and look at that you're cheating over here nah -uh, you did it first so we will be blindfolded and we will grab one and see who can guess what it is faster without being able to look no cheating stitch jeez okay, you know, stitch hold on i'm gonna have to take my ears off for this <laughs> do you remember what the character choices even are alien all, all you need to know. Well, if alien. you guess alien for everyone, you're gonna be wrong. I could be right up to three times. All right, grab a box. <laughs> Do you have a box in your hand? No. No? Because you should get a box. Making sure I can't see. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> you put them behind you. All right guys, so you'll be able to see what these are. We obviously can't. We're gonna see who can uh, guess what it is faster. Ready? No. Do you have a box in your hand? Yes, I feel like there's like bird box or something. <laughs> kind of. All right, ready? Go. Oh, I hope we can open these without scissors. Yeah, we can, okay. Uh. I have no idea. <laughs> this has no shape to it. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Um, legit, the features on this are so small. I don't know that this will be possible. <laughs> Marie. I'm gonna guess... Chip or Dale. That was what I was thinking for mine too, but I feel like there's something right here that I keep touching that might be like her bow. Ready? We'll take off our blindfolds. Dang! Okay. Did you get the same one? Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> so right off the bat, we both have doubles. We have Dale. Oh, I should have gone with my instinct because I was like feeling up here and I thought... I don't know. I messed up my nail doing that. <laughs> well, obviously doubles are inevitable because we both have Dale here. Here is a look at him. He is really cute. He's super shiny. Probably my least favorite of the options. So Ouch. let's hope that round two goes a little better. Just being honest. I don't, I'm not like a huge Chip and Dale. Fan, hopefully since we have Chip, maybe we'll at least get Dale and have a pair of them because I feel but like- But not doubles. <laughs> yeah, not doubles of them. But I feel like if you have one, you need the other. Can I always like paint the other Dale's nose black? <laughs> I don't, yeah, no, they're not the right colors, but all right, let's go ahead. You already grabbed a second box. Cheating over here. All right, let me, let's get ready. That was hard. These don't have very defining features. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Yes. Get set. Go. I want to do this as violently because of my nails. Ugh. Okay, this is bigger. Triples. Don't say that. That's I'm pretty sure guess. I know who mine is. Uh, my guess is another Chipperdale. 
I'm gonna actually guess Marie again because I feel two points up here and then I feel like a bow like thing on the back here I don't know if she has a bow on the back if there's that much detail, but I'm guessing that this is Marie Ready? All right, ready? Are you guessing Chip or Dale? Uh, Chip, let's go with Chip. Okay, let's hope it's Chip. Ready? It's Marie! She is so cute, oh my gosh. It's Chip! Oh good, we didn't get a double. <laughs> or, I mean, we already got a double, but we didn't get dribbles! We at least have Chip. Oh, that's, he's cute. These he's are really cute. shiny. I think he's cuter than that. Like, These look really nice. Look at Marie, she's, her oh, face. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. So here is Marie. Sorry, our cats are playing with the Tokyo banana bag, but uh, she is so shiny and pretty. Her face is so cute. And then she does, she has like her little bow on the back. This is what I was feeling. Well, first I felt her ears and I was like, oh, okay, I hope. But then the bow, I didn't think she would have a bow. I thought she was just gonna be just cute. her body. I mean, she is really cute. I, oh, I'm really happy we got her. Hopefully we can also get you an alien, because I'll be sad if we don't get an alien. We got one of the two we really wanted! You're like anxious to find the alien. You're already grabbing the next box. All right. Let's hope you get it. Are you ready? Yes. Go. I feel like the alien would be at least easy to feel. Oh, mine's already like out of the plastic. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, oh yes. Alien? Stitch? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's either alien. This or doesn't stitch. feel like Chip or Dale, but I don't know what kind of shape this is. Sharp ears. So sharp ears to me is either the alien or it's gonna be stitch. Stitch. I this is a really weird shape. Um because there's like a bulge here, so I don't think it's chip or Dale, I, maybe Lotso or Pooh? There's no ears on it. Who doesn't have ears? Pooh has small ears. Pooh uh, had, all of them had, uh, Chip and Dale Chip are the only Dale. ones that don't have ears. Oh, so no. I feel like it has to be Chip or Dale. But their face didn't feel flat. Like maybe Pluto has painted on ears. I'm trying to like remember who the other. Oh, actually this might be Marie. Marie has. Pointy ears. Pointy ears. All right, so. What's your guess? My guess is Marie. My guess for this, oh, I have no idea which. Uh, I don't know, I don't feel any. I'm gonna go with Chip again. I haven't felt what Chip feels like, so maybe this is Chip. Actually, I'll, I'll change it to, to Stitch. <sighs> My guess is Stitch. Chip. All right, ready? Ah, uh, no, okay, it's Chip. We got, a, so we at least have two full sets of Chip and Dale. <gasps> it's a Stitch! Who's good at this? That's actually this really, well this one, I was like, he doesn't have ears, but he has like a weird bulge face. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me show them Stitch. Let me show them, or you wanna, oops. <laughs> Here's Stitch, and he matches my blindfold. Yeah. He's so cute too. As I was feeling for him, I felt the pointy ears. Yeah, let me see. Oh, he's cute. Oh, and his back is painted too. It's nice. These are really cute. I enjoy these. Oh, hi. You here for the suspense of the last box? There better be an alien in one of these boxes. Or else we're gonna have someone who's sad. All right. Alien. 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 You're putting your glasses on over your stitch. Yeah, that shows that I'm not cheating. I can't, I'm not like getting half of these right. Hold on. Okay, okay, I'll put it back. I have to find where it's open. All right, ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Did Meeple just race car? No, I think he not. Uh, it has ears, but not like Marie ears, but I don't think it's like alien. Oh, well, these are small dark ears. This might be... No. You know what? I'm gonna guess aliens, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's right because I feel a little 
belt. So I'm belt. hoping that this is an alien. Oh, I think I can't stall one of the Kokeshi. My guess is alien, so we can tend to the cat. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, it's got ears, pointy ears. Who would have pointy ears? I'm gonna guess Poo. Alright. Is it Poo? Alright, ready? Two, two, one. one. It's Poo! And it's alien! <gasps> we got the alien! <laughs> what, who did you steal? Hold on. Sorry, guys, had to rescue Chip from our cat meeple. Alright. This is. Cute. Okay, I like poo. You got him. See, like I was saying, I was feeling. But the you couldn't belt feel fan. like the top nut because I feel like alien no, because, is so obvious with that. Because for all of them, the cell phone charm slap the the hook. Yeah, the but you can feel the eye versus the. Yeah, like I, I don't can know the difference. <laughs> I thought you'd be able to. I don't know. Um, he is super adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he is really cute. I'm glad we were able to see it took eight boxes. You thought I was crazy when I was like, bring eight. <laughs> and it's like, originally I was like, okay, I think four boxes is good. And then I was like, six. And I was like, sorry, make it eight. Cause I don't want a chance. It. <laughs> Cause I haven't seen anyone like selling these on eBay or anything yet, and I don't know if they will. I don't think they're gonna be that popular. So I was like, if we don't get the ones we want, like, I'm kind of stuck. So, but this is Pooh. He is backwards. Uh, he was definitely kind of hard to guess because his ears felt a little more pointy than they actually are. But he is adorable. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. I love how like shiny these are and like smooth and just like I feel like these are really well made. But yeah, I wasn't sure if this would be Poo or Lotso. Um and I couldn't remember if Pluto actually had ears or if they were like painted on or something, but I think these are really cute for being a pretty cheap price and I am excited to hang them all up somewhere. Where'd you put the alien? Don't lose him. I won't. <laughs> Trust me, I won't. Yay! So did I win? Did you win? I won. I you guess think so? all four of them, except the first one. The first one I was like, first Chip one you or said Dale. Chip or Dale. That I feel doesn't count, even though I don't think there is literally any way to distinguish them in this form. And then the second one, I guess, Chip. Yeah, they're like the exact, oh no, he has the little tuft of hair on his forehead. It's literally the only difference. So, so. I guess they're distinguishable if you really feel around. That was hard though, because they definitely don't feel as easy as you would think they would. Except I feel like the alien totally would. I like that you got to open him though. And that you could tell he had a belt. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Resident alien expert. I know. All right guys, that is it. Excuse you. <laughs> that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us open all of these little goodies from Japan. Let me know in the comments down below which little Kokeshi doll is your favorite of all of them. I think we know what your favorite is, of course. He's like still in your hand. Yeah, I know. We get it. We, you, you love aliens, clearly. <laughs> I definitely do think I like Marie the best though. She was just so tiny and cute. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And be sure to come back on Thursday because I am finally putting together and filming my January New Year pin board and I am so excited to share that with you. It is jam packed with pins and other stuff so that's gonna be super fun. So I will see you guys on Thursday. Thank you as always for watching. Love you guys and see you soon. Bye! Bye.